So 2019 was another record year in the DMV area. And I want to, um, I cover the Washington metro area, um, licensed in Virginia, Maryland, and DC. And so I like to keep tabs on what's going th on throughout the area so that I can be informed for my clients. So um, I have the numbers here for 2019 and I just wanted to share some of them with you um, because it's pretty interesting. Um, starting with Virginia, with Loudoun County, uh, the sold volume in 2019 went up about 6% from $3.5 billion to $3.8 billion in real estate. I'm, I'm real estate sales, I'm rounding them up. Um, average days on market went down 62% from 66 days to 25 days on market. And then the average list price for, um, for sales stayed around um, 547. It was only a three and a half percent increase um, up from 528 in 2018. Um, the average sold price for uh, an attached home, like a townhome, was uh, 425, 833 for 2019. And for a detached home, the average sales price was around 681K. And both of those numbers were up uh, four and five percent from over 2018. And then the number, just so you put things in perspective, the number of attached units that were sold were 3,731 units, and the number of detached units that were sold were 3,206 units. So interesting there is the attached units, townhomes, um, condos, what have you, that number went up 5.22% um, over 2018, but the number of detached properties went down 1.84% um, from 2018. One of the things as an agent, we've noticed um, a decline in inventory. And so we are on our networks um, constantly saying, what's coming? You got something coming? Um, let me know, tell me first, because um, we're trying to find properties for our clients. And let's see, so that was 2019 statistics, Loudoun County. Fourth quarter, just to give something to compare to, the average sold price um, was, and this was for October, November, and December of last year. So the average sold price was $544,755. The average sales price in Loudoun County is really high. And it's literally about a thousand over the, um, the number for 2019, which was 543,985. Uh, the number of units sold total for the year was 1,484 units, and that's up just under 8% over um, fourth quarter last year. The average days on market is 29, and that is um, just a little bit over um, the average days on market across the county for the year. So from 29 um, in fourth quarter to 25 um, 25 in 2019 and let's see the one now i'm only going to say this the one time because i noticed it uh, across the board so the average actual sales price to the list price and and that that number that ratio is 98.6 percent so it just says that properties are selling just a little bit below what they were listed for. So it means that there's probably better pricing out there, but um, if the days on market tend to um, drag on a little bit, you'll see um, some pricing adjustments made to accommodate that. And across the county, across the DMV, that, that number, that same ratio stands true from 97 to 99%. So pretty consistent in the area. Um, the average sold price fourth quarter was um, 432000 for an attached home and the detached average sales price was 682000 for fourth quarter and again that's right in alignment with what the average number was for all of 2019 in Loudoun County. And then 
820 attached units were sold in fourth quarter alone and 664 detached units were sold in fourth quarter. So pretty big year in Loudoun County. So Fairfax County, the um, total sales, sales volume <laughs> was just under 10 million in 2019 um, with that being 9.7 billion um, dollars. I think I just said million, I meant billion. Um, and then the um, 2018 number was just hovering right, just over $9 billion. Um, the average sales price went up um, just under 4% to 601506 in Fairfax County, a uh, little higher than Loudoun County. And um, average days on market was 24. That's pretty consistent with what we had in Loudoun which for the year was um, 25. And um, the attached average sold price was $410,319. And the detached average sales price in Fairfax County was $788,283. So you see um, prices in Fairfax County are a little bit higher uh, than um, Loudoun County's average sales price. And then Attached units sold in Fairfax County was just under 8,000 units, and the number of detached units sold was just over 8,000 units. So a lot of hustle and bustle there. Uh, fourth quarter numbers for Fairfax County. Um, total sales volume in Q4 2019, October through December, was just over $2 billion. Uh, that was up 14.49% over Q4 2018. That's a big jump um, over the previous year, fourth quarter. Average sales price went from 564,000 in Q4 2018 to 614,000 in Q4 2019. Another big jump. Um, units sold just up a little bit, so um, prices pretty much went up because the unit sold was 3,462 versus uh, Q4 2018 of 3,316. So that was just over 4%, um, an over 4% increase in units sold um, quarter uh, Q4 2018 over Q4 2019. And then the average days on market was 29, uh, consistent with Loudon as well. And um, the average sales price uh, for an attached home was 422000 And then the detached average sold price was around 801000 So another big fourth quarter for Fairfax County. So Prince William County, 2019. Uh, total sold dollar value in 2019 in Prince William County was just over $3.1 billion, um, and that was a 10% increase over the 2018 number, which was $2.8 billion. Their average sales price was $408,000 over a 2018 number of $391,000, so about a 4.44% increase in average sales price. They sold um, 7,587 units, in 2019, about 5% uh, increase over 2018. The attached average sales price in Prince William is about 318,000, and the detached average sold, sold price, single family home, was around 481,000. So you see a little bit more um, um, affordable in the big scheme of things, that's um, more affordable than um, its neighbors, Principal um, Loudoun and Fairfax County in terms of um, average sales prices. And total units sold um, of attached units in 2019 was 3,388 and detached units sold was 4,199. Um, both of those sold, saw an increase over 2018 and you saw more detached units sold um, because you can, um, you can get um, a single family home in Prince William for about the average sales price of an attached home in Fairfax County and Loudoun County. 
So you'll see a trend of people that really want a single family may move towards Prince William, in that case in Virginia. All right, fourth quarter numbers in Prince William County. Um, average sales price was 404,000 and total sales volume was 650 million. Um, and that was a 16.69% increase over Q4 2018. I can attribute that to lots of new construction sales in Prince William. Um, another big shift, there's, um, I posted in my newsletter, a link um, about the 66 widening and they're taking it all the way down to 15 um, in Haymarket and they are planning um, in, in anticipation of getting that metro extended in future years down into Prince William County. So there's a, there's a nice um, shift going there. Um, average days on market, 29 days and um, average attached sales price $320,000 and average detached sales price and this is all Q4 19 $476,000 uh, they sold 734 attached units in Q4 2019 and 870 detached units again more single families in Q4 2019 both of those um, close to or over a 10% increase over 2018. So Prince William is one of those hot moving markets. Um, and that's a, another thing I actually posted. Um, there's a community in Prince William um, right off of 66 called Blackburn um, being built alongside Ballsford Road. And there it's a community of townhomes and single families, really nice plan unit development. They're eventually gonna have direct access to 66 off of Ballsford Road, so it's a, it's a hot community and it's selling quickly. So let me know if you wanna know a little bit more about that community or you're ready to write and we can go uh, check out what, what's out there for you. All right, so let's move into Arlington. So Arlington, surprisingly, Arlington County, um, saw some decreases in its numbers from 2018, some positive, some negative. So 2019 Arlington County, the total sales volume was just under $2 billion. Um, and that was a, that was, that number was down just under 4% from 2018, which was hovering right um, just above $2 billion. The average sales price in Arlington for 2019 was $703,641. And that's, that's um, an increase, 6% increase over 2018's average sales price of $663,000 um, as well. So um, in that case, they had a positive, the sales, sales, average sales value went up but the um, total sales volume in dollars went down. Um, in units sold, that number went down almost 10%. They, in 2019, there were 2,782 units sold in Arlington, and in 2018, 3,061 units sold in Arlington. Average days on market in 2019, um, that's a positive decrease. Average days on market in 2019 went to 23, down 65% from a 66 average days on market in 2018. I can attest to that because I had a um, million dollar townhome in the courthouse uh, square area of Arlington that was on the market for a while that contributed to it. And I think um, part of that uh, competition was um, the some of the new construction going on in the area and um, people just looking for move-in ready. Um, my unit at the time needed some, just needed some updating. It was, it was move-in ready, but it, in, the, in the big scheme of things, when you're looking at um, brand new condos and, and, and homes that have been completely gutted and renovated, um, that one needed um, some updating. So that contributed to some of those days on market. And I saw um, more of that in the area, um, similar, similar circumstances. 
let's see. So the average list price um, for homes sold in 2019 in Arlington was $704,000. Um, and the average list price in 2018 was $670,000. So there, that's just telling me that um, prices were, uh, properties were listed at higher prices in 2019. The average attached sold price in Arlington was $491,629 in 2019. And the detached average sold sale price in 2019 in Arlington was $1,079,000. Uh, I'm sorry, $1,079,751. Um, so um, both of those saw just a small increase of three and 6% respectively. Uh, the number of attached units sold in 2019 was 1,781, and the number of detached units sold in 2019 in Arlington was 1,001. So in this case, you see more um, attached units like townhomes and condos being sold than your detached units in Arlington. All right, Arlington, fourth quarter numbers, um, sales volume, $422 million in sales in Q4. That was down 8% over Q4 2018. The average sales price was up um, $705,000 versus $605,000 versus $666,000. Um, we so you saw a 6% increase in average sales price, um, which is consistent with the trend for the year. Uh, 599 units sold versus 690 in Q4 2018. So that was a decline of 13% in fourth quarter sales. Um, average days on market, still aggressive. That was 23 in, in Q4 2019. People were looking for homes and they were hopping on them. And over, so that was a 36% decrease in days on market over Q4 2018, which was uh, 36 days. Let's see. And then the um, number of units sold in the attached units sold in Q4 2019 was 408. And uh, that was a um, more than a seven and a half, seven and a half percent decline over Q4 2018, which was 442 units. Um, the number of detached units sold uh, in Q4 2019 was 191, a 22% decrease over Q4 2018, where there were 244 detached uh, properties sold. So that was, Arlington was one to watch. We'll see, um, you know, as new condos and things develop, we'll see, we'll probably see that um, um, attached um, sales number continue to increase in term, um, over detached unit sales. So moving on out of Virginia and into Washington, D.C., the total sales volume in Washington, D.C. was $6.6 uh, $6 billion in 2019 versus $6.3 billion in 2018. So it was a 5.27% increase in sales dollar volume from 2019 to 2018. The average sales price in DC was $711,000 in 2019, um, just up 2.5% um, over $694,000 in 2018. The average days on market in 2019 was 29 days versus 53 days in 2018. So the same thing that was happening in Arlington um, was what was happening in DC in 2018. Um, things were on a little bit longer. Prices were lower, but the days on market um, were much longer. So probably should have bought in 2018. Let's see. So the average list price, um, actually I'll skip that. Um, the attached average sold price in 2019 was 652,000 and the detached average sold price in 2019 was just over a million dollars in DC. Both of those um, numbers saw 
around a 3% increase from 2018 to 2019. The number of attached unit sales is another interesting number. The number of attached units um, sold in 2019 was 7,883, and the number of detached units sold was 1,387 in 2019. So attached unit sales went up 3.6%, detached unit sales went down 1.14%. So DC was pretty interesting there. Let's see, Q4 2019, um, there was a 14.97% increase in sales volume uh, in Q4 2019 over Q4 2018. Um, sales volume was 1.669 billion in 2019 in DC with the average sales price of 736,000 um, $687, which was a 5% increase, um, 2,254 units sold in Q4 2019. That was up almost 9% over 2018 Q4. Average days on market remained um, pretty consistent, 28 days in 2019 versus 30 days in 2018. Uh, the attached average sales price in Q4 2019 was $674,000. Uh, that was up 3.75% over Q4 2018. And the detached home average sales price in Q4 2018 was just over a million dollars at $1.085 million. Um, that was up... Um, 11.64% over Q4 2018. Uh, Q4 2019 attached unit sold was 1,905 and detached unit sold 347. So we see a lot, and, and again, not surprising um, because there are a lot of row homes, townhomes, condos in DC. So it is, um, it is expected that you would see that um, the sales numbers for the attached home be significantly higher than the detached in Washington. All right, so that was DC. Moving into Maryland, 2019, Prince George's County. The total sales volume in 2019 was about $3.662 billion. 12% uh, 12 increase over 2018. The average sales price, 321,000, 7.23% um, increase over 2018. And number of units sold in 2019 was 11,401 units over 10,909 units in 2018. So that was about a 4.5% increase. Average days on market, 36 versus 2018 number of 61. Um, that was a 41% decrease in days on market between 2018 and 2019. So something that was going on in 2018. The um, attached home average sales price in 2019 was $257,383. That was an 8.4% eight percent increase over 2018. The detached home average sales price was three hundred and fifty four thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars and that was a six point seven one percent increase over 2018. Uh, the number of attached units sold in 2019 was three thousand nine hundred and twenty eight over uh, 2018's number um, and that was uh, the change was pretty much four point eight percent increase in um, attached units sold between 2018 and 2019. And the number of detached units sold 2019 and 2018 was pretty constant, um, just, just about a 4% increase of 7,471 um, total detached units. And now there, which is telling, um, more affordable, so you see more um, single family homes being sold almost double um, that of the um, attached homes or townhomes and condos in um, Prince George's County. Fourth quarter comparison in PG County, um, total sales volume was 
904 billion dollars um million dollars i'm sorry 904 million dollars and that was a 17.27 percent increase over q4 2018 which was 771 million dollars pretty significant um, jump average sales price three hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars um, 8.30 percent increase um, over q4 2018 and the number of units sold in Q4 2019 was 2,760. That was up 8.32%. Average days on market, 33 uh, versus 37 in Q4 2018. So we saw uh, just under 11% decrease in days on market in PG County. The um, Q4 2019 average, attached average sales price uh, was $259,823. That was up about 8%. And the detached home average sales price in Q4 2019 was $365,000. And that was up about 8.5%. The number of attached units sold in Q4 2019 was 980. Um, and that was up 10% over 890 in 2018. And then for detached units sold, that number was 1,779 in Q4 2019, and that was up about 7.8%. All right, last but not least, uh, Montgomery County numbers. Uh, total sales volume in 2019 was $7 billion versus $6.6 .6 billion dollars um, about a 6.8% increase between 2018 and 2019. Average sales price in Montgomery County was $554,000, um, just up 2.43%. So not a big change um, from 2018, which was a five was 541,398. The number of units sold, again, that number is pretty close as well, 12,719 in 2019, 12,312 in 2018. Now, average days on market again, same trend, dropped 46%. It went from 63 in 2018 to 34 days in 2019. It's pretty significant. Uh, attached average sales price in 2019, uh, again, townhomes, condos, $359,000, $359,483, and that was uh, an increase over the previous year of about 3.64 percent and the detached average sales price was seven hundred and fifteen thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars and that was a just um that remained pretty constant constant it was only up 1.36 percent over the previous year uh total homes uh, attached homes sold in 2019 was five thousand seven hundred and forty five um, detached units sold in 2019 was 6,973. Both of those numbers just went up just a little bit. They just ticked up, so 2.1 and 4.43%. Fourth quarter comparison, uh, total sales volume in Q4 2019 as compared to 2018 was um, a 23% increase. So the sales numbers in 2019 was, was roughly $1.7 billion over $1.7 $4 billion in 2018. Um, the average sales price um, remained pretty close, $550,000 versus $528,000 um, Q4 2019 versus Q4 2018. Um, number of units sold, that went up 17.54%. 3,000, just over 3,000 in Q4 2019. Um, and 2,617 6, units sold in Q4 2018. Uh, average days on market, it went down 10%, um, but the numbers are still kind of in the ballpark, I would say. Um, 35 days in Q4 2019 versus 39 days in Q4 2018. And that is um, consistent with the um, year average for 2019 um, versus um, the 63 days for all of 2018 as compared to the 39 days. So it looks like 
homes sold um, better in Q4 2018, faster um, than they did when you take the average of the, the entire year, which meant there were a bunch of properties sitting out there for a long time. Uh, let's see. The attached home average sales price in Q4 2019 was $370,000. That was up just 6.93%. The detached home average sales price was $706,000, and that was up just 2.34%, so not that much. And the number of units sold in Q4 2019, um, number of attached homes, townhomes, condos, 1,418, 1,418 units, and detached units sold was 1,658 units. Both of those were up 15.94% um, and 19.19% respectively. So those were the market stats. These are the numbers that I get to enjoy um, looking at trends. Things like this help us determine whether or not um, or how aggressively we can um, price your home and what the trends are in your local area. And uh, then we kind of, we can't just really kind of look at the entire market. When we price out your home, we have to get very specific to what's happening in your community um, and then with um, comparable properties in order to figure out how what the sweet spot is for your property. So if you have any questions, if you want more details, I got a whole lot more details here. I just kind of gave you highlights, but uh, that's the DMV 2019 market statistics. And um, hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon. I have a remote and I wasn't reaching for the remote. Anyway, have a good day. Love you guys.